I'm Kate with Sally Tomato. Do you have a favorite bag or purse pattern that you've made more than once and now you'd like it to look just a little different? Hardware closures are a perfect option in making that bag or purse that you craft really unique. Join me as I show you how easy the Half Moon Magnetic Snap is to install. This snap offers a beautiful alternative to a hidden magnetic closure. They're available in nickel, gold, gunmetal, antique, and rose gold metal finishes, coordinating with all the Sally Tomato hardware. So let's get started. This edge closure is actually quite similar to a traditional magnetic snap. The female half looks just like it's a magnetic snap counterpart and will be installed in the front of the bag or purse body. Then there is the half moon clip, which has the male half of the magnet attached to the back of the clip. This will be attached to the closure flap of your purse or bag with tiny screws. A few items and tools in addition to your project fabrics to have on hand are a heavy interfacing like craft text or sew and foam. I'm actually using Bozal Interform or batting, fusible interfacing, a scrap of your project fabric, and then basting tape, a seam sealant or fabric glue, permanent glue such as E6000, a screw adhesive such as Loctite, removable marking pen or pencil, a seam ripper, sharp scissors, and then a mini screwdriver. Let's begin with the female half of the magnet, since this part will normally be installed as you assemble your bag or purse project. Position the washer, centering the hole over the placement mark on your project. Then mark the fabric using the slots for the placement. If your fabric is lightweight, also mark a small piece of the heavy stabilizer or foam, which will add needed support to the fabric. Next, cut the prong slots using a seam ripper or very sharp scissors. Cut carefully. It's always better to cut the slots just a little short. That way the magnet will stay secure. Check that the prongs are straight and insert them into the right side of the fabric and add the heavy stabilizer or foam to the back. Now push down on the washer, flatten out the prongs away from the center to reduce the metal bulk making them as tight as possible to the foam or interfacing. As a final step, carefully fuse a piece of interfacing over the prongs and washer to protect your lining fabric from the sharp metal edges. Or you might glue a piece of project fabric over the prongs if there will be no lining. Okay. Now let's attach the male half of the half moon magnet. This is added when the closure flap or tab is nearly complete. Make sure the tab or flap is thick enough to fill the width of the slot of the hardware. You can insert a piece of heavy stabilizer, foam, or batting to add an extra layer of bulk to that area if you need to. Slide the half moon clip into position. I've placed small pieces of paper tape along each side of the clip. Carefully remove the clip and add a bit of permanent glue to the finished edge between the tape on the front and the back. Then slip the clip back in place between the tape markings and insert the screws. To secure those tiny screws, Add a drop of Loctite before the screw is inserted. Finally, remove the paper tape. and your half moon magnetic closure is installed. I hope you'll try this sleek closure on your next bag or purse project. It's such a sophisticated addition. Be sure to tag us with the hashtag SallyTomato to share a photo. If you found this tutorial helpful, let us know 
give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining me.